anyone that's interested in completing the storyline quest i'll be showing you guys the guide so the first part five is out so the first one is to talk to iron man about his equipment iron man literally spawned here so i'll show you what to do as you can see enjoy this tactic break out blue mind let me show you if i completed the quest quest yep it's done the next one is to uh, so the next one is to search the stark industry chest now there's many stark industry chests if you want to find one easily it's all this hexagon looking place so places like here or like here so if you see a hexagon pretty much near it i think there's one here as well so let me show you guys how to do that maybe either here or there and i think it's here so yeah let's do that as you can see i've got a notification for it so yeah that's pretty much how to do that quest search stock such a stack in this chest. Uh, the next one is to hit opponent with stack weapons from a total combined distance of 500. That includes like the stack rifle. Okay, yeah, so we stage three of six. I was actually lucky to hit it in an LTM. So the Avengers vs Doom LTM, I was just playing it randomly. I noticed I completed this challenge. Essentially, it's really easy to do. You either need a stack, do any stack um, weapon. So that's the impulse rifle. Or the gloves, the star gloves thing. So essentially, you just have to spawn in, spawn in as an adventure. And once you get the weapons, just to anyone, you'll be able to complete the challenge. You can't do this if you spawn in as a Doom henchman. You can only do it if you spawn in as an Avengers henchman. So, right, so the next one is fly over Castle Dome, which stage four of six is to fly over Castle Dome with Iron Man kit. This is really easy. You just need the Iron Man thing that makes you fly, and pretty much you have to fly over Castle Dome. Now you can do this in pubs, but I'm going to see if I can do it in LTM as well. LTM just makes it a lot easier. If you spawn in as an Avengers character, you'll be able to do this. So let's see what I can do. Alright guys, so I was lucky to spawn in as an Avenger. So as you can see this thing, I have to use this. I just have to fly over Castle Doom. So this is where Castle Doom is. So of course yeah, I might have to be at the storm. So I'm going to quickly go to Castle Doom right now and I'll launch it. Let's see, I just need to launch it. If you press this bar, you fly. Let me see. I right, so I've already done 100. So you can challenge is very easy. If you guys are struggling, you can easily do it in LTM as well. Because in pop is like, I don't know. You can do it in pop, it's just like, let's see. Okay, and I've done it as you can see. Fly over Castle Dome with Iron Man Kit. Now, the next one is I can see if it says destroy object with Iron Man Kit. Let's see that's about it then. Cause as you can see I've already done two. So you are meant to use any Iron Man or War Machine gun. I'm gonna destroy this. Oh I thought I'm going to get eliminated. Oh sad it's not possible. Uh, should I just look for medkit there? This is that when you have already have only done four, you have to look for it survive with the Iron Man. Oh, so you have to use Iron Man kit or War Machine Arsenal. Oh my god. I've done. So as you can see, shooting buildings is the easiest way to do it. I've already done nine. My teammate is just geeking out for it. He doesn't know I'm doing challenges. I've already done nine. Interesting. Oh, so using the ultra beam. I know that from makes it do more. So I just wait for it to retire. One. I just need four more, I'll be done. Just destroy some more items here. So, yeah, essentially, you can do all this in just one go, just being out here. Just to let you guys know, because you can get extra XP with this. Alright, guys, I've done this, which is two. I've done two, so fly over Castle Dome. 
and destroy objects. So the next one is damage vehicle with the uni beam line. Final one is to damage vehicle with uni beam offline. Now the only way you can do this is by getting both the Ironman gloves and the Ironman boots. Essentially, you fly up with the Ironman boots, and then with the Ironman gloves, you use the uni beam, which is the blue light that's like the highest damage, not the basic one that does 20 damage, the one that probably does 100 damage with the chest. You have to land in any of these hexagon looking places, so you can only get it in stack industry chest or the stack um, landing thing itself. So like around here, as I said like 20 times, the hexagon looking places so here or here. There's also another one here. Can we do it in pop? Okay, so I luckily got the boots. I'm going to Iron Man right now. Let's see if I can luckily buy the. It's going to cost 500 coins. So let's see. Okay, so I have both of them. See, I meant to find a car. Alright, so there are cars here. Yes, I did it. So a lot of people are complaining. Essentially, I've been trying so long. I think what you have to do is that you have to start flying. So I've completed it right now. You have to be flying so from a distance. So I don't think it's stagnant. I saw a lot of people commenting that, oh, how do you do it? Follow exactly what I did. I'm going to do it again. Ooh, that guy should not grip me. I right, so what I did was that I was literally flying. So I was like, I was doing like this. I was doing offline like this and then I just locked. So I think that's how to do it guys. If anyone that's wondering, you have to start flying. And then once you have done that, you'll be able to do it. Just going on size. Please use my support tackle to put TKC to support me. And like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching and peace.